Welcome to Tanks Invest, we're talking about investing, finance, and professional Raman. As a current time of 10.57 a.m. on the Eastern Time on Monday, Gen 8th, hope you guys had a good weekend and also happy Monday. With respect to overall market today, we are rebounding slightly uh, on the equity front. We are at the 470 mark. As you know, in the you know recent time frame during December, around the Santa Claus rally time frame, we were you know reaching all-time high to 477. So it seems like we are also in a sideways fashion looking to make an attempt to further the escalation from here. But obviously with respect to the US um, you know, market historically is trending on an upward range, but it's not just gonna go up in one shot, right? So seeing some you know near term volatility, you know, knowing the fact that we were quite extended due to the um, the Q4 uh, you know, affectation with respect to the Santa Claus rally, fund manager doing window addressing, but also with respect to the Fed's rate uh, announcement on the flattening of the interest rate going forward. You know, it's like three positive components that drive the market to go up from here, right? But is this sustainable? We will dive into the technical to see how that goes, right? And take a look at the Ethereum and the Bitcoin side of the equation. We're also up 3% respectively, which as you know, we've been uh, seeing some elevations because of you know several different factors. Uh, one on the macro perspective, there is some direct correlation with the Santa Claus rally that happens in Q4, but also with respect to the Bitcoin ETF news that was percolating as some of an anticipatory pressure. But now, you know, we heard the delay from the SEC, um, you know, postponement uh, on their, you know, they will take some more time to understand more about the uh, ETF dynamics before they pass through. But, you know, historically, that's more of like a cry wolf type of news uh, with lack of uh, support. It's more just like a fear mongering type of news that just kind of drag on to the market. But obviously, it's a negative one, which will you know, obviously drive some negative pressure for the sell-off from here. So let's just take a look at the technical uh, without wasting more time. Again, with respect to recording time of basically 11 a.m. on the Eastern time. You are seeing that on the daily, we had the 51 of 70 with the separation of crossing up. Um, you could see that uh, we are, you know, pretty much just glue around the level of 2250. Uh, we're up basically 20 bucks away from the 2250 mark, uh, up 3.4%. So on the color spec uh, coding spectrum, this is more of like, um, uh, I, I would say it's like a greenish yellow, right? In comparison, it's like red, yellow, and green, again, using our color coding system. Weekly with a 65, 70, but the large well hump that you see at the cross section uh, that we've formed on the golden cross. And now you're seeing that we are looking to, you know, form an apex and now we're just slowly cooling down. This is more of, um, you know, a bearish setup, right? So you could see that this is more of a orange red colorway. And then on the monthly, you can see that we had the 56 out of 70, so 60 out of 70. Uh, we've crossed up for quite some time and you could see that we are on the right side of the spectrum but it needs to cool down uh, a little bit more so what this is telling us is like this is more of an orange colorway so if you mix that together the mixed color on the daily weekly and monthly is still like a deepish uh, reddish orange so still not ideal and not advisable to be buying at the level or selling at the level at the moment right now Bitcoin is like we've been elevating with the 45,000 mark right now, up 3.3% as well. On the monthly, you could see that with the 64 out of 70. So this is red on a color coding system. Weekly is also, you know, mega red. This is 75 out of 70. So this is already a negative, a very negative pattern, right? You could see that we've crossed up since October and we need to kind of cool down and uh, we form an apex right now to eventually cool back downward from here, right? So this is a reddish pattern. On a daily, you could see that we are at 60 out of 70. So it's not, you know, we, we're a little bit elevated and extended. Um, and despite this is like a relatively bullish pattern, you know, knowing the fact that we're gonna cross up a form of golden cross, it's not gonna convey a huge pump upward from here, right? So I'll get this like a orange as well. So orange, burgundy, red, burgundy, red is, you know, across the spectrum, a red color, which tells you that it probably makes sense to sell, take some off the table rather than actually keeping it into Bitcoin right now, knowing the fact that the chart looks like it's about to break from here. And then last but not least on the SPY front with the 470 mark right now, um, 
daily we are bouncing up because that was a prior resistance level of 54. Uh, but is that su sufficient, right? We are, you know, fortunately on the right side of the spectrum. That, so that means that we can ideally keep going up to like somewhere around like the 474. But on the weekly perspective, we are a little bit extended, right? We've crossed up for quite some time. We're going to cross down eventually at 65 out of 70. So, um, you know, this is more of like an orange colorway. And then last but not least on the monthly, you are on the 62 out of 70. We are, um, you know, a little bit separated on the MACD front. So this is also a red color. Um, so red, orange, and I would say this is uh, like a yellow uh, across the spectrum. We might elevate a little bit, but not sufficient. So, you know, quite bearish on the equity front, unfortunately. So hopefully this is helpful. Uh, you know, appreciate you for joining me again. Um, I guess, you know, keeping this on a more of a daily cadence, uh, you know, I hope that you guys appreciate. But again, if you want more of a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, just like feel free to reach out to me. Uh, I'm happy to, you know, uh, have more about one-on-one -on -one sessions, but feel free to subscribe to our Patreon to book the coaching sessions, and I look forward to catching up with you on the next one. Take care. Bye.